Welcome back to another Civilization 6 DD challenge. This time we're playing as Gorgo. A few videos ago, I did another DD challenge where we basically quadrupled the barbarians, and I was a little bit disappointed, honestly, because there's actually like some kind of upper limit if you actually modify the game files that way. But what I did, I did something special. I just wrote another mod. Turns out barbarian camps are labeled as improvements in this game, so what you can just do is just place them wherever you want. So what we're doing in this game is every 20 turns, it's going to go through every tile on the map, see if it's a valid tile to place a barb camp. If the random number is less than 16 when it goes up to 101, so it's between 1 and 101, it'll, it'll, it'll spawn the barb camp. So that's 15% chance that you'll get a barb camp on every single tile every 20 turns. That's a lot of barb camps. Main complaint might be the AI would be pretty bad at this. Well, I gave them a plus 30 combat strength against the barbarians they will do just fine and actually we need to kind of count on that so as for our start we're playing as gorgo where do we want to go let's go this way okay a good start is always on a plains hills and why do you want to do plains hills well because you get an extra production you get two production and two food instead of just two food one production in your capital for our units we're going straight for a swinger and we're going straight for archery because uh it's turn three that means barbarians are coming soon they're coming real soon. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. They'll probably hate us. Oh. We're super close to a lot of AIs. We are playing... I thought it was a Pangea map, but come on. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20. 15 tiles away-ish for each one of them. That's actually good for us. <laughs> That's really good for us because they'll have a lot of units and they can protect us from all these evil barbarians. Oh, we can go for a monument. Yeah, we can do a monument. It is turn 8 now. How are we going to win this game, you might ask. Oh, there's Barb Camp. <laughs> there's already a Barb Camp. Well, this one is not due to me. This is just due to the game itself. I did not actually change that. Because I thought it would be fun. Uckland, we're the first one there. Too bad this is a Pangea map. So it's not going to do us any good. It's turn 11. Really kind of wish I found a tribal village. So to give myself a chance... There we go. There's a tribal village. No, oh, no, 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 never mind. <laughs> to give myself a chance, we are playing kind of a cheaty mode, Heroes and Legends. Come on. Once you see how ridiculous this is going to be, come on, something good. A oh, free envoy. That's pretty good. What do they want? Great profit? That's not happening in this game. So the barb caps cannot spawn. Maybe we should do heroic tales. Should we do heroic tales and start taking over the AI? Just be super greedy? Let's see what, let's see what hero we get. Ooh, a Nazi. I really like him actually for DD challenges, basically because it's easier to come back when you're so far behind because of 60 science and 50 culture. Turn 19, I know the AI, or I know the barb camps cannot spawn on tiles with units. I believe so. But major drought, here we go. You ready for this? Okay. Oh, we got Hypoth. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Just in our sight range, let's look how many here. Barbarian Outpost. There are 15 results. Just in our sight range. The good news about this is we're probably going to get a Golden Age. Archery's done in six turns. We'll get the boost from there. Let's go for pottery. I would almost, I would love to get mining too. We're going to get so much error score for this. The AI, AI should be crushing it too. Can we get this out of the way and get the boost? Ooh, maybe. We got it. That means we finished it, right? What? We didn't finish it. Let's go here and clear that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's do vampires. I have not done a vampire in a really long time. And you're going to get pretty insane. Insanely strong. We'll upgrade this to an archer. We'll be good to go. So let's get a settler. Let's get our unit here. And let's just take over... Yeah, let's take for Scotland. Let's do this. Let's get things going on. Going off with a bang here. Oh, 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 oh man, that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Let's do Battle Cry. This is, you know, this is not a bad city. The only problem, the only thing I don't like about this city is it's on not on hills. It's kind of a bummer. Let's go for a builder of this city. It's got some, you know, decent tiles and stuff. Okay, we can go like this. Get rid of this one. And that should have counted. Oh yeah, plus two. Let's do it. Let's skip before. There are nine science return. Let's go ahead and get them before they actually... No population. They have a district in one city. 
and probably their capital. So let's go ahead and form a war. I mean, you heal 20 HP every turn, so we can attack right there. That's totally fine. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, not bad. Not bad. A few camps, like a lot of camps down here. Not bad when it's our borders. Let's just attack here, fortify this one. Let's go after this city. Like, usable once per turn. It's just two attacks for this one archer. That's just so good. We should do something. You know what would be really good this game? Honestly. Wait, where is it? There's one here that it, you get, like, healing if you kill, clear a barb camp. And you get, like, 50 faith. And it's taken. Let's just get the free builder. That's pretty good. Yeah, right here. Initiation rights. Come here. I think we should take it over to this unit. Let's get some experience and stuff. There we go. Yeah, then we can do Illuminati right here. And then we definitely need discipline still. And we actually don't need God King. So let's go for this one. And we got two military policy slots. That should be at least two more combat strength, which is really nice. 84 turns on the rebellion. If we take over Sterling, like it's pretty much game over. They got one more city over here. But like, <laughs> I kind of like how we have this insane amount of barbarians. And look at this. One, two, three cities already in turn 44. Just like a normal game. Just like a normal game. No big deal. Yeah, they took out the camp for us. Thank you very much. That was nice of you. And now it's a class card as a golden age. Let's see if this flips. No, it stays the same because they, they probably have a golden age too. If I move this up here. We can move this here. I'd like to take out this unit. Man. So good. Let's just attack here. And attack here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is great. We can take this unit out here. Get another plus one combat strength for our unit. Get another attack. This, this is, she's my favorite hero. We all know Hercules is like extremely busted. But like she is just so good. Let's go ahead and just attack with her. We didn't even get it. They're about to finish walls too. Now you may be wondering, Otter, it turned 48. You have one, two, three, four cities already. You are crushing it. You already basically taken out Scotland. This is way too easy. Well, first of all, how dare you? <laughs> Second of all, I'm a pro. Alright, this is my third DD Challenge December, so I've definitely done this before. And also, we can't look bad in front of our new sponsor. And I welcome today's sponsor is... Subscribe. But Skyland's been very nice to us. Thankfully, they didn't actually build any districts. Well, unfortunately, they didn't build any districts in their capital. But look at this. A plus four campus right there. That sounds awesome. Uh, I don't know. Plus one, plus one, two, two, five. <laughs> 35 turns, 65 turns. Like, I think we desperately need to find Hercules. So after you finish the library here, let's do, not campus research grants, let's do Heroic Tales. Go ahead and use the command. Move over here, move this vampire here, and go like this. There we go. Another plus one combat strength for our vampire. I mean, we could move this here, this down here, and attack here. Give it another attack, and then attack again. That definitely works. And we'll move this in here. And this one goes across the river. All right, that was pretty good. Bronze work, I guess, can wait one turn. Let's just finish irrigation. And then go for bronze work and get our hoplites. After that, I probably want to go for machinery or really construction. So we can get the lumber mills so our, our vampire castle will be even better over here. We do want to find another city. Man, there's so much stuff we want to do. I would like to take over Khmer. But let's go ahead and change our government. We're going to do oligarchy for the plus combat strength. Definitely discipline. It's probably going to be there the whole game. Conscription would be really good. And then, let's do Agog. We'll use Agog so we can actually build our hoplites faster. I'm pretty thankful the Barbarians have not upgraded their units yet. Because that would just be pretty crazy. What? I'd rather take it over the hero, honestly. Attack here and get this free builder. But let's take like all their gold and a diplomatic favor. Go and peace out with uh, Scotland there. There we go. We'll try to sell our diplomatic favor. Nobody wants it. <laughs> Only one gold. It's not worth it. I'll just let it go away. I'd rather let it go away than give the AI 20 diplomatic favor for one gold. And they love us for uh, keeping peace with the neighbors. Totally makes sense. I have to redecimate their whole whole livelihood. See what they do. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. A camp spawned right on top of that scout. Camp is literally right on top of uh, 
<laughs> we could pillage it. Wow, what a weird, what a weird spawn. What a weird spawn. We can go like this and take this out. That's good. Ten culture, defensive tactics unlocked. Perfect. Limes. Limes is going in there. We don't need the loyalty one anymore, probably. More? Well, of course there's more camps. What was I thinking? Of course there's more camps down there. Another camp done. <laughs> Get another golden age. No problem. We're pretty well defended now against all these barbarians. I think we cleared them out in three turns. It's pretty good, honestly. 837 military strength? What? You only have four cities? They're right there. 837. Holy smokes. We healed a little bit. Yeah. Get rid of that encampment. Thank you, Mapuche, for all these warriors around here really helping us out. I'm trying to assemble a nice attack force for Khmer. Without, like, severely getting rid of our defenses for barbarians. I guess we're getting walls. So we're going to have one, two, two swordsmen, a hoplite, and one archer, I guess. And whoever this her her hero is. We could do the twins, honestly, and get a ton of, actually, a ton of more units. 19 to... 39 turns. I think we're still going to go to war this era. <gasps> yes! Yes! Hercules. Okay. 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 Which city has most production? 12, 4, 11, 4, 15. Well, yeah. Obviously, that is most. Hercules. Okay. Campus. Don't need to build that anymore. Because in 13 turns, you'll have the campus done. Yeah, let's do it. Now we can see more of the map. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't start... Keep going up this way. That would have been pretty tragic. So in terms of taking over Khmer's cities, we could found a city right here. And then we can take them over because we have better loyalty pressure. Okay, let's just go a settler in eight turns instead. Era ends now in ten turns. The question is, do we finish Hercules now? So let's see what we're going to use Hercules. The, the, the benefit of not using Hercules now is the combat strength goes up every era. Right now it's a 48. Probably be like 54 or 58, something like that for the next era. Which is a huge, massive, like, he can take over. I mean, right now he can take over Khmer's capital, no problem. Let's go ahead and declare a formal war. This city, oh no, it got pushed over here. That's not cool. Like, they, they got this island and pushed it back over here. Okay, we can still go through here, which is good. They have catapults. Okay, Hercules on one turn. Let's go ahead and pause that for a little bit. We can just finish this campus. Let's go ahead and just do that. That sounds pretty good. Bring all this stuff in and go ahead and found the city. You are definitely going to build walls right away. And as for... We're going to go six turns to growth. That's all we're doing. We're going to grow you. Let's reassign you. Re reassign Victor up here because we're going to need the additional loyalty. I'm, I'm sure of it. See if they attack us. Okay, they're attacking us a little bit. Eh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot about this. Okay. Down to the south is kind of bad. Oh, look at this. Come here's a unit down here. That's gone. Yeah, we definitely got to go over here to pillage. We got to go attack there. We're probably going to get hit twice with two catapults. Maybe three. Ooh, we might die. But if we don't, we can actually pillage this thing and heal back up. Just fine. Let's see what happens. Crossowmen. Don't like the sign of that. Couple crossowmen. Well, Hercules is going to have a field day with them, so <laughs> it'll be just fine once Hercules is around. Should we take over the city? We could easily take over the city. Let's attack there. This is a, so much damage. Goodness. Let's go with our horsemen. I guess we'll keep this city. 75 health. Let's definitely do that. Yeah, we're taking over Khmer now. There's some minor barbarians around here. No big deal. We don't care about them. Next turn we get machinery, which is really going to help things out. We didn't die. Our swordsman did not even die. Flood helping us out? I love it. Love it. Oh, ho, ho. some more units now. There's a medieval era. Turn 86, we still got... Well, it's turn 87, I guess, right? No, 86. We still got 14 more turns until a bunch more... Basically, problems happen. So, <laughs> pretty happy about that. Let's take these other things out. Yeah. That's actually... We can't actually do that. That's not a plus five campus. Because there's a mountain there. How did I even know? 
Robert the Bruce is in a normal age. Everybody else is in a, you know, a golden age is pretty expected. Just due to how many barbarian campments are around. We could just go for monumentality and buy some settlers. Let's do that. We'll buy some workers and settlers and stuff like that. I would love to have a worker up here. Let's make sure we do have, yeah, we do have surfdom in. So let's go ahead and buy a builder. And honestly, a trader would be good too. And the best part now, where are we at? Hercules. Let's do this. Hercules, what are you at now? 62. I went 48 to 62. <laughs> That's so much. And I have it already marked out. We're going to build Hercules. We're going to do a nice campus down here. Well, after this World Congress. We'll do no, I don't know, truffles. Sure. Yeah, we can take over this city. Let's definitely pillage this thing. And take it over. Do we want it? They have a holy site and they have a campus. Let's go ahead and take it. Let's get our first vampire castle. This seems to be quite insane. Look at this thing. 13 food, 16 production, and 2 gold. It's pretty good. Pretty good. That's 2 down. You still have one more district you can build. Yeah, this thing got pillaged. It's unfortunate. There's like one barb camp right here. It's like super hard to get to. Alright, our vampires are going to hold on the fort here. Got a great person. What do we get? This one. Oh. Let's pass. I don't want this. We do kind of... We are lacking a lot of defenses around our capital area, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Hercules, look at this. 70 combat strength. That is just crazy. Take this out. Yeah, Hercules, take it over. And then our hoplite. Oh, we didn't get it. We're close. We were really close. I do like this one. This is perfect for like a nice domination game. And five. We're getting seven per turn, so we might get the rest of them. Let's take it over with our hoplite. There we go. Now if we move... Oh, this is great. Move here. Take this thing out, Hercules. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Another plus one combat for the vampire. We're currently at plus 10 for barbarians and plus 8 for units. 18. All these units are so tough. Look at these two crossmen down here. I think I know an easier way to take them out. Let's just take out the city. There we go. Kamir is done. Turn 95. Two AIs basically wiped out already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cities. 10 cities. We're about to wipe out Scythia. And then we definitely have to start going east. Oh, Military Mercy. This might be good for us. Come on, Scythia. Oh, it failed. Uh oh. Well, they shouldn't have voted no. Why didn't the person who proposed it vote yes? It's a mystery for another day, I guess. We can do it. Five. Oh, God, so good. God is so good. Look at this. Okay. So Mapuche's army is really to the right of this mountain range. That's going to be tough to get take out. We're going to have to come from the north or something or get bombers. Two turns until all the barbarians spawn again. Yeah, we got, we're declaring war. Yeah, we were definitely not passing by. This is the turn. You ready for this? Oh no, please don't be too bad. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of encampments right over here. Oh, okay, we're pretty good down to this. No, we're not too good down here, honestly. The camp spawned right where our unit was. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe there's a little bug in the code. Maybe there's a small, a slight bug. I would never release a code that's had any bugs in it. Come on. We're good. And we're at already 144, 136 error score. Nothing died. Nothing of ours died. Well... The barbarians are still going. Okay, we're good. Let's attack there. Pillage this. And, yeah, let's just take this thing out. No problem. Go ahead and repair this. And keep this city. So I'm back. It's been only a day this time since I last played. And sometimes it's good to take a little bit of a break. Because, honestly, I'm coming back and looking at the situation here. And I'm like, man, past Otter, what have you been doing? What's going on? We have 705 faith. 
Now, granted, we do want to re recall probably Hercules again when the lifespan ends in 14 turns, but we probably have to wait to the next arrow, which is 23 turns. But, you know, we're about to pillage a lot of these things, and we have a lot of improvements we should be actually doing, like basically improving this Niter down here. I think we've got another Niter source here, but we do have a Builder over here, and another Niter source right over here. Just based on that alone, I want to buy some Builders around here, just to kind of improve things. We'll buy one... Yeah, right here too. I think that's it for now. And I was looking around. Guess how many military units we have. Not including Hercules and the two vampires. Ten. We have ten. And we have something like eleven cities. So if that's not like the definition of spread thin, <laughs> I don't know what is. Let's buy another builder right here. I think it should be really good to put in a COD. A COD is, I think a COD is probably like the best city state in the game. Doing full damage to city walls without like a battering ram is just just good it's so good and there is still an element player in this game it's a little weird right it's turn 104 and we haven't met like the last player in the game holy smokes okay that is some uh that's that's, that's, some, that's some units over there look at all these units one two three they have a ton of units over here i just want to go here and pillage that's all i kind of want to do is, is, is pillage just so we'll kind of back up yeah get gun puttered on as soon as possible yeah, we're taking out their units. Getting the free experience there. And the 10 culture always helps out. That is a quarter of our culture per turn right there. They're really not doing that much. Uh, actually, no, they're doing some... Oh, yeah, they're doing some damage. Never mind. Oh, free camp right there. That's really good. We have to run away. There's a lot of horsemen over here. Holy smokes, there's even more over here. Yeah, there goes both our knights. That's a little unfortunate. Hercules is having issues right now. Completely surrounded. I was thinking about piecing out with Scythia, but look at this. 55 combat strength. <laughs> 83. 83. Holy smokes, yeah. At the best, they have... If only a hundred fortification alpha, it's not the best attack, but it's still good. We can move in with our muskman. I think we can take over the city. It's only four population, so loyalty might be kind of an issue. We'll see. We'll see. Our our capital is doing quite well. Fifty three production. They actually need like granary and all this stuff, aqueduct, all that stuff like that would be really good for our capital. One, two, three, four, five. So they have six cities. They have a thousand military strength, ninety five science. They have one two and probably another campus in their capital so three campuses and they're getting 95 science per turn while we're at 104 and we literally have like 10 campuses <laughs> like this is this kind of busted let's just fortify let's do hercules last stand let's see one attack two th yep only three attacks not that impressive of a last stand honestly <laughs> that'd be a little bit better there's a few units go over here no, no big deal. Actually, our crossman is quite insane. Just having volley, garrison, and arrow storm, that's 22 combat strength just from that. They have Corsairs now. That is definitely an issue. Let's definitely attack once. And we're just going to fortify here and let them attack us. This vampire unit is so strong. They're like bringing units into it, and it's just making it stronger. It's plus 10 for barbarians and you die near it, and plus 11 from other units. That's 21. I think we should take the city over. Yeah, let's take the city over. Because then we get this tile. Now we need to move some units around. But now these both can heal this turn. Like fully. Well, not fully, but... We'll move Moksha over there. Oh, it's only minus four. Okay. No big deal. That's another plus one for this unit. Another plus one for the vampire. So I'm back again after not playing for a few days. And I swear, every time I come back in this game, it's it's like our army is just completely gone. I need to rebuild. And the worst thing about the coming back this time is turn 119. So 120 is next turn, which means a lot more barbarians. We can get all 473 gold, and I think it's 23 gold per turn. There we go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll take that. That's a lot of gold. The best part about this is you can go here and you can actually trade stuff. 33 gold per turn. Look at this. Because the next turn, it, they will definitely denounce us, so that's not happening. So getting that right now is the best thing we can actually do. What else do we want to do? I kind of wrote it on a list. Win game. Yep, that's all that's on the list. 
<laughs> no. Look at this. The problem with actually taking over all this land is now we have a lot more barbarians. I just want to see here. 60 barbarian outposts that we can see. 60. All right. That camp's done. This is... <laughs> these are long turns. Because, uh... There are a lot of attacks we have to do. We can upgrade this thing. I'll love to take over Scotland next turn. But they're, yeah, they're at war with Mapuche, so Mapuche is definitely taking it over. So I guess we have to take it over. The reason I wanted to take it over in two more turns is basically to get the error score. Oh, we'll keep this city. Look at all me more barbarians just spawn. Military mercy, uh oh. Oh no. I didn't hear a war. Yeah, I heard the war sound right there. Well, jokes on them. We just got Beowulf, who we at war with, Mapuche, and Indonesia, which we don't even know where they really are. I think we're gonna do reform the coinage, so we don't have to worry about trade earth being plundered with all these barbarians, and we can get more gold per turn, which is always nice. Oh, speaking of uh, trade routes, and there's Beowulf. Let's see, seventy-two melee strength. We could recruit Hercules or my favorite one. This one right here. And have them and the vampire and maybe a line infantry or two take over Scythia and then work their way west. And then from the eastern or from their western flank, we have these line infantry going over Mapuche along with Beowulf. And then they'll work their way east after that. Okay, I like this. They plus 10 for cavalry, plus 5 for echelon, 4 difficulty, 4 from oligarchy, and 10. That's so much combat bonus. That is ridiculous. We can almost take over the city in one turn, but maybe we shouldn't. Let's be smart about this. Let's go here. Fortify this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and clear war with Scythia. This could be, you know, a bad idea. <laughs> but let's let them come after us for one turn. See what they do. Okay, they're bringing their army. Their cars, their cores, their strongest unit. Our biggest problem actually is the barbarians down to the south. This has been always a problem. And the barbarians down to the south over here. These units are a huge pain. Oh, I forgot about that. That's... That's really bad. So many more. Um... Well, at least we got this great scientist. That's good. This would be a good spot for it. This is a lot of barbarians. This is a lot of barbarians. We definitely want airplanes as soon as possible. <laughs> yep. And we need another hero. We need help. We need a lot of help here. Let's go for fuel cannons. I keep forgetting every 20 turns. This is getting harder and harder as the game goes along. Once we actually get biplanes or something, though, it'll be much, much easier. A lot of attacks going on now. Ooh. Good news, we've got 20 more turns until the next one. Look at all these attacks. Yeah, let's start taking all, all this stuff. Let's actually give you another attack. No, we're not. Don't go there. Okay. Oh, well, we can just go like this. And there's the capital. Let's take out the city. Alright, we got the city. <laughs> Losing well to year two. Only 2.9. We can deal with that. Now we have a little bit of a forward base. Ooh, this is stressful, man. This is, a t <laughs> this is not easy. I think this is probably probably the funnest mod I made for DD Challenge December. It's kind of non-stop action, but it does take a long time to play a game. No. <laughs> we are the aggressive enemy. Oh, uh, that's probably going to pass. Yep. 20 turns left. Let's take you over. Yeah, now we've figured out a lot of land. We couldn't just get another governor. Sure, we'll get this one. It's only minus three. We'll keep this city. This one should be fine now. And now I think we'll peace out. All right, so 227 gold, 45 gold per turn, and a great worker writing. Look at that. 30 base strength, and they're up to 60 for Warrior Core. Man, Warrior Cores used to be such a joke. The more you think about it, the less likely 
we are of actually going to be able to take over. This city, look at this, 82 combat strength for the city. There must be something going on here. This plus 10, they get the plus 10 bonus from the Golden Age due to their, in their cities too? I mean, when their, uh, <laughs> when their warriors have 53 combat strength, well, it's a warrior core. You know something's actually a problem. So, what we're going to do, we still have Total War enabled. Let's go out and pe peace out with them. We're just going to raid all the stuff that we actually can. 39 and 2 gold per turn. Yeah, I guess we did get a city. That's right. Let's go ahead and accept that. Now, we can actually trade this. Look at 31 gold per turn. Yes. Do this before they denounce us. As for Indonesia, they want us to pay them gold. So, I'm not actually going to do this. There's just no way. But now we can focus on a few things. Specifically, um, this little issue right over here. We have a huge barbarian problem. So we need to bring our heroes over there to help us out. I think this is actually probably the hardest siege I've ever, ever had to do. It's like, look at this. This is extremely hilly, mountainous around here. They have a like, perfect encampment placement. We could have got this city and pillaged it, but they really didn't do any good. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going straight for flight. We're going to go straight for flight and then right after that, go for bombers. That's what we're going to do. Campus research grants pretty much everywhere until then. This is the turn. Turn 160. Well, at least we know not many barbarian camps are going to spawn down here. Because, uh, every spot is occupied by a unit. I, in my original plan at the start of this game, uh-oh, she might die. One of my original plans at the start of the game was to build a bunch of scouts and just put them everywhere. So we have a lot fewer encampments spawn, but obviously that worked out really well. Goodness. Well, every tile is as full. So I'm back. It's been, honestly, like a month since I played. But I just realized, we have Charles Darwin. Man, because we're going straight to flight, there are still so many barbarians around this world. But Charles Darwin, 500 science per national wonder tile or whatever. Here in adjacent, the only national wonder we wore, no, is uh, this one. So we'll get at least three tiles, maybe four tiles. So that'll really help us go towards flight. And we're doing a bunch of campus research glands. We have 3,000 gold we're going to be buying a bunch bunch of biplanes and stuff like that right in our near future and then after that we are definitely definitely just going after Mabuche's capital and then Indonesia's capital we do have a vampire over here which I'm quite fond of oh 59 but getting over there might be kind of an issue but now that <laughs> the same time we finish actually flight we're doing Charles Darwin so this should give us a ton of science steam powder requires 1284 so we should get the radio Yes. Oh, yeah. Now we're on our way. We just need to hope we have some aluminum. If we don't have aluminum with all these cities, something's definitely wrong with this game. And one of the other best parts is we're not going to hit a Golden Age. So my Poochie's plus 10 combat strength bonus will not actually apply to us. This is crazy. We're back down to a normal kind of like grayish map. Well, we're in a normal age, so that's pretty good. Dark age, dark age, and a normal age. Look at this. This city's just undefended. Our vampire can just take out this city. Oh, they don't have walls. We can just take it and pillage it. Oh, 18 population city just gone like that. Oh, that would be horrible for them. Oh, poor Indonesia. Because there's no way. There is no way we'll be able to keep that with loyalty. One right there. Two. Okay. We have two sources. We can like easily take out the city. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. I definitely want to get rid of the city before they actually build walls. There's a nice campus over here. Oh, I wish I would have known that. Let's just go ahead and uh, look at the loyalty first. What is the loyalty? 15.1. Oh. Huh. Like that's actually in the realm of possibility of actually doing keeping it. Yeah, we have some nice policy cards. This is a possible four more loyalty per turn here. I think it's gonna be possible. I'd love to get some amenities and stuff. Oops, not conservation. Oops, not divine right. <laughs> Goodness. It's a little early in the morning for me. Let's see. We could go for Merchant Republic. I'll go with some more policy slots, which we actually kinda need. And now it's only minus 3.1. <laughs> this is, no, there's no way this is right. That's just no way. We're in the middle, like 15, 11, 15, 13. This is no way. We're gaining loyalty now. 0.7. We could take over the city this turn. I mean, why not? Sure. 
<laughs> wow. Calvary was true. Oh, no. We're losing units now. We're getting sloppy. Oh, man. That's some uh, encampments. I was hoping to beat the game before turn 180, so we don't have to worry about this. <laughs> okay. That turn took about five minutes. Getting steel would be really good. So we can actually have walls in all of our city. We pretty much do have walls in all of our city, but, you know, it's still good. And actually getting artillery would be the best part. Oh, I went all dark. The whole game went dark. Let's go ahead and combine these two. And, <laughs> like, 10 minute turn. Another attack over here. Got the, both the vampires. We can hold off one more turn. But let's definitely just go ahead and take over the city. Let's go ahead and pillage this first. I think steal a little sooner would be good for us. And, uh, can we... Yeah. Let's just take it over. There we go. There's our capital. Man! That is defended. There's mountains everywhere. This is the hardest terrain to siege so far. This is ridiculous. Let's just take this out. I want them to be done. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't. Let's use our other bomber then. There we go. Their capital is now ours. Yeah, let's just go press shift enter. Whatever. <laughs> barbarians will spawn. There's a lot of barbarians around. It's probably not good for us to not attack. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to get, get the game over with. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. This has been a lot of fun. Let's check out how many Barbarian Outposts are currently available. 81. If we don't even have the whole map revealed, there's still a lot of area down here that is probably just full of Barbarians. And if we just look at how many Barbarians, 150 Barbarians on the map, 150. Well, it includes Outposts. Over here, over here, it's just crazy. It is just crazy. But this has been a fun. Oh, man, this is a fun game. Vampires, super strong. Super strong. Oh, and I got an achievement. Interesting. That should be worth more than one achievement, honestly. Mapuche killed just as many units. Oh, wow, look at that. Indonesia and Mapuche are at the top. And then we're down here. But if you look, this is 465. I don't know what the top is. Let's just say 500. So both of them have 500. We have 450. That, that are, that's 1450. And that's not even including Scythia. So it's about 2,000 units killed in this one game in... Was it 182 turns or something like that? Yeah, it's currently turn 186. That is absolutely crazy, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this DD challenge. Go ahead and check out the mod on the Steam Workshop page if you'd like to play it yourself. And thank you for watching.